Well, let's hope there's enough jet fuel to fly those planes. And speaking of hydrocarbons, after a big first five months, energy was the worst performing sector in June, down almost 19%. Wall Street, not giving up just yet. JP Morgan's Dubrov Kolakos calling energy a deep value sector with improving growth. Jenny, you've got some exposure in the space. Your take. We do. So here's how I look at it. I'll put a positive spin on it. Wow, energy is still up 30% on the year. And guess what? The stocks are still really cheap. You have Chevron and Exxon at 13 times ish earnings. You have Pioneer and Devon at under 10 times. You have the MLP, the midstream space still pumping out 6% returns and, I'm um, sorry, 6% yields. And you know what? There is still enough, not, not enough capital being invested in this area. And the regulatory environment is a disaster. So it's very, very hard to bring more supply online, which I think means that energy prices will stay high. When we bought Devon originally about two months ago, the share price was accounting for about $70 a barrel of oil. And right now, we're still at over 100. Meanwhile, the share price ran up, it's come back down, but the share prices are still only accounting for, for oil in the $70 range, which means you have more upside. So I think that there's still a lot of room here. Much to everyone's chagrin, not everything moves in a straight line. Sure, it would have been nice to be up 55% and then be up another 10% and another 5%, but the reality yeah. is, is that's just not how it works. So you've got a, you've got a capacity constrained group of stocks. I think either way, even if the regulatory environment were to loosen up, great. Then they can create more supply. They make money because they're selling more barrels. If it stays constrained, great. They're making more money because of the high price of oil yeah. and, um, and gas. So I think you're either way on this. I'm staying put. These are great points. These are great points, Rob. And by the way, I mean, demand estimates for oil, aren't, they're not going down in a meaningful way. The OPEC and the world still sees huge oil demand for years to come. <laughs> Listen, we're there. We're positioned exactly like Jenny, but we think it should be kept on a short leash. Everybody knows that oil is still in an uptrend because of the supply demand characteristics that Jenny mentioned. The bloodbath in June shook out the weak hands, but you have to watch this bounce to see if it fails and rolls over. And if it does, we would be reducing. Once we hit peak inflation, um, we're going to want to move from late cycle, cy cycle cyclicals, energy and materials, to late cycle defensives like healthcare. And so, you know, while we're there, we're there and watching very closely to see if there's a pivot. On Jenny's point that the fundamentals are just tremendous, yes, they are. But you need to watch asset flows. You have many stocks that yep. have great fundamentals, but when asset flows pivot the other way, watch out. We've seen it all year. So that would be my counter to to staying long if this uh, if this bounce fails. Yeah. I'm not the judge, Jenny, but so I'll I... give you a chance to counter the counter. Oh, thanks. <laughs> great, great. Thanks. So so Rob brings up an, a good point from a technical portfolio management perspective. But I think that the that the uniqueness of what's going on in the energy sector right now I think that should let you override this. Bernstein put out a really interesting piece several several months ago, and they said, here's the base case, here's the bull case, and here's the pig case. And the pig case is basically just let it ride because the wind will be at the back of these companies straight up making money for so long, for a year, two years, three years, that you want to be in it and you want to be a little bit greedy. That's what I'm subscribing to. So even though Rob's putting forth the, the kind of technical portfolio management momentum, you know, takes them off the table, mm -hmm. On this one, I think you can actually grit yep. your teeth and bear it and stick with this for maybe longer than is comfortable.